This is the story of Louis Joliet. He was born in or near Quebec in Canada, meaning he was the first explorer of North America to be actually born in North America. He originally didn't want to be an explorer, though. He originally pursued religious and musical studies and went to Jesuit school at age 11. He played the harpsichord and the organ. In 1667, he left the faith to become a fur trader. He found moderate success until he was called upon on an expedition with Jacques Marquette to explore a river which would then be classified as the Mississippi River. This was originally supposed to be a missionary mission, but he found uh, it to be an advantage for himself because he thought it would expand his trading post. They embarked in 1673 by canoe. And a month later, they came across a village, a native village, near what would now be classified as Illinois. And they were greeted by natives there, and they kept continuing their travels further south, and they finally reached the Arkansas River. But then they realized that Spanish settlers were already in the Gulf of Mexico. They were thinking that the river would lead to Asia. But when they realized it led to the Gulf of Mexico, they decided to turn back. They went by way of the Illinois River, and Marquette actually went back to Lake Michigan the following year, but he died while he was settling there. In 1674, they decided to take a shortcut, but their canoe capsized after a storm, and eventually most of the crew died. All of Joliet's journals and detailed descriptions of what he saw near the river was lost completely. And he was one of the only survivors on that canoe. He recreated most of his journals from memory. And that is the information that we have of his travels today. The French government was worried about English presence in North America, so they sent Joliet to the Hudson Bay to try to assess the situation. And he discovered that the Hudson Bay was the richest source of furs in the entire country. He went missing in... a about 1700, on his way to an island that he possessed. He owned the land, and he went there frequently. And he is presumed to have died on his trip there. Louis Joliet is important to American civilization because he established the Mississippi River as a travel route, and he confirmed its geographic location. He was the first non-native to map the Mississippi. Hernando de Soto had already discovered that it existed, but he was the first to actually travel down it, even though he didn't complete the mission. And he is one of the first North American explorers to discover more information about its own country. 